The one thing I couldn't do my job without is sheep, funnily enough. Lots and lots of sheep. It's dull, but it's ne necessary. This has some amazing uh, director viewfinder apps on it, a meditation app, because then I won't be so stressed, and um, also just a general Google app for whenever I'm, whenever they're lighting on set, if I'm honest. I suppose for me it's always a story of um, mining the human condition for me always, whether it's through yeah. the, the, the single film, drama films I've made about Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor being co-addicts mm. or Tony Hancock being an addict or the problem of being a, 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 a woman and a gay woman growing up in the war, a kind of analysis and challenge about what we think, how we feel and exploring that. So that's always where I'll come at from a story. What about you? Oh, no, but, um, no, you hit the nail on the head for me because that's my favourite thing. I want to do comedy, but um, for the film to work on lots of levels, it, it has to work on an emotional level as well. It has to have an emotional story. I know it sounds ridiculous given that it's Shaun the Sheep. The difficult bit, I think, with, particularly with comedy, is you have a funny idea, haha, <laughs> everyone laughs, you put it in, and you have to watch it about 300 times, different edits and uh, different processes, and then you lose faith in the fact that it's funny, and you start to try to change things, and you've, you have to keep reminding yourself, no, that was funny. It's not funny now, because you've seen it 500 times, but it was funny, so leave that in. The hardest part for my job is maintaining a sense of confidence of doing it. That's the hardest thing, self-doubt, dealing with that. Um, I always feel like I'm a millimetre away from falling off my perch. And actually, it, and I, this is a cliche, but it's so true. Is this the job where I'm going to be discovered that I can't do it? Because I always feel <laughs> slightly syndrome. like, yes, I'm a fraud, basically, I Same think. Same here, yeah. We act out the scene live action, and we'll do it several times, some, some you know, several takes. Not only that, we'll then go into edit and we'll really kind of fine tune a good take, you know, add a frame here, take a frame out there, just to get the timing as, as, like, as, as funny as it can possibly be. So the comedy that I tend to be more interested in is that that sits on the knife edge between delicacy, poignancy, emotional truth and funny. Yeah. And it's never kind of ba -dum -tsh. It's always about the emotional truth of that story. So therefore, you, one hopes that if one gets that right, then there will be, mm. you know, uh, an authenticity to it and a humour to it, but it's not always laugh out loud funny. In animation, particularly with what I'm working on at the moment with Shaun the Sheep, is, is um, it's quite hard to get the characters to emote, or to, the emotional scene's the most difficult. One of the opening shots of the film, we, we kind of, um, we've got a close-up of Sean's eyes where they fill a screen, but their beads that big, you know, and and we're trying to, with subtlety with the eye, eyelids, trying to make him look uh, like he's waking up and looking slightly sad. And, and that scale is just... Uh, well, I think it'd be quite difficult small. if you were doing that on a, that close on, a, on an actor to get yeah. that. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. I think it really would, but nearly every actor I've spoken to about playing a, a you know, um, a negative or bad character have said that they've always had to fall in love with them at some level and find their heart and their compassion. If I if I can make an audience connect, which is my main thing emotionally, yeah. then they will be with that character and they'll be a memorable performance. That's right. We that we we. Um... I think that's what we try to do is, is, is create, and I think every, everyone probably does in, uh, in movies, is uh, you try to create empathy for the character. You want, you want the audience to like them for some oh. reason, even if they're a baddie or, a, you know, even if they're evil, you've got to like them in some way. It doesn't look too much like Sean's so stuntman. So, so he's living in Sean's shadow. Yeah. So he's got his own worth as an individual.